the least a person could do is at least protest. There was no protest. I protested. I was requested by the tolling committee to appear at the last minute, and I went before them as the last witness of the San Francisco hearings. And I unequivocally uh, opposed the uh, eviction of Japanese Americans. They'd already made a decision to have an evacuation, so the tolling committee hearings were at bottom a farce. But they were interesting, nonetheless, for some of the things that came up at them, and Mike Masaoka and, and Jimmy Omura both testified. Before a joint congressional committee in February 1942, Omura protested the planned evacuation as unnecessary, rejected the leadership of the JACL, and asked, Has the Gestapo come to America? Have we not risen in righteous anger at Hitler's mistreatment of the Jews? Then is it not in Congress that citizen Americans of Japanese descent should be similarly mistreated and persecuted. I felt that there would be uh, a multitude, to use my word, a multitude of uh, Japanese American who would appear before this committee at their various uh, hearings in Portland, San Seattle, and Los Angeles, and would protest uh, this eviction. As it turned out, uh, there was not a single protest. I did tell them that if they're unwilling to fight for their rights, they didn't deserve it. Mike was fairly embarrassing in the sense that he was so obsequious and so accommodating to the testifiers and gave out the idea that Japanese Americans would do anything, anything. Yes, we cooperated in our removal because we were afraid of what would happen. Do you want people? murdered on the streets? You want tanks to come in and destroy the little ghettos that we had enjoyed? I think we had no alternative. I thought they betrayed Japanese America. Well, he, he says if we all didn't evacuate, that the army would come in with men with guns and tanks and assassinate us. I didn't believe that was possible. He used this fear to encourage the Japanese public to follow the JCO line. The primary responsibility lies with the United States government for violating our constitutional rights. But the JSL went hand in glove with the government, and I can't see how you could divorce that from the responsibility uh, when, when you're weighing the facts. They didn't stand up and uh, represent the Japanese American. They sold themselves to the government. A lot of people may not agree with it, but uh, I was right there. <laughs>